Hello all, welcome back to my next tutorial video. So this tutorial is about how to use a parallax joystick which is a two axis joystick. It has x axis and y axis. So as you can see it's written here parallax and if you look behind of it you have parallax two axis joystick revision B. So this is uh, basically available in the market you can buy it. Uh, <clears throat> It is basically used, I am planning to uh, make a RC car and for which control with a joystick. So uh, I'll just explain you how it works. As you can see, it has pins L, R, left or right plus and U or down, up or down plus. So these two pins must be connected to the 5 volt and below you have left or right or left or right. Similarly, you have up and down, up and down, and ground, ground pins. So I'll just explain you how is the circuit connection to be given for the working of the joystick. So now I have given the uh, pin diagram here. So basically the parallax joystick module has 8 pins, where the pins 7 and 8 should be shorted together and grounded. and uh, Pin number one and two should be shorted and should be covered, should be connected to a five volt supply. This gives a supply voltage for the working of the joystick. I'm sorry for the joystick. And uh, the red circle at the center of the pin diagram is the knob or the controlling knob or the joystick. Now pin number three, four, five, and six gives the analog output values based on the direction in which you move the knob. So three and four must be shorted together and must be connected to one ADC or an analog to digital converter channel of a microcontroller. It can be an Arduino PIC or any microcontroller with ADC channels. And similarly, five and six must be connected together to, a, to another ADC channel. So basically the joystick has two potentiometers inside the unit one for the x-axis and the other one for the y-axis so uh, as we move the joystick in the desired direction the resistance inside changes because the the potentiometer in within the module varies and the resistance varies according to the movement and based on the change in the resistance the uh, analog value received at the channel will be uh, varied so uh, we need to calibrate the joystick initially so without moving the joystick in any direction keeping at the center position we have to check what is the ADC value coming in the output window and as we move the joystick we can see what, how much is the voltage variation and accordingly we can write the code for the controlling functions one important thing which you have to take care here is that the value at the ADC channel the output value from the joystick basically it depends on the input voltage of the whole controller of the whole microcontroller so if you give a less voltage let's say for example 5 volt input the output received at the ADC channel would be less voltage if you are giving a input voltage of 9 volts then the ADC value will be a bit higher than that of a 5 volts so now I will uh, show you how to read the value from the ADC channels and check the voltage variation. So now I have made the connections uh, as I have said and uh, I have connected my right left direction uh, control to A0 of the Arduino and I have opened the sample uh, code which is nothing but analog read serial which is already there in your IDE. So if you come down, you can see we are setting up the serial begin for 9600 uh, baud read. And then here I am reading the analog value from the channel A0. And I am storing that value as an integer into a variable called sensor variable, I mean sensor value. And then I am transmitting out that value. So now I will show you how to check the value which has been uh, you know, obtained at the ADC channel A0. So as of now to the joystick I have connected only one uh, direction that is nothing but left to right. So if you want to connect, uh, if you need up and down also you have to connect 
uh, to another sensor channel let's say a1 or a2 or a3 and you can define one more variable like sensor value 1 and you can analog read that channel output to the sensor value and then you can print the same sensor value so that you will get both the left right readings and the up down readings so to check to check the value of the output of the adc i'll open the serial monitor here and i have already flashed the same program onto the arduino so if i open the serial monitor you can see the values coming as 496 or in the range of 490 now i will show you how the value changes as i move the joystick so now my joystick is in the center position and now this is a joystick and now i'll move it to my left and then the value got reduced to in a range of 73 74 and i brought it back to the center position so the value came back to 490 range and i moved it to my right and then the value is above 1000 or something around 990 so i brought it back to center position and you can see the value came back to 490 range again to my left center right so as based on this value you can write the functionality as you want it so you can say that if the output value is around 490 then don't do anything if the output value is greater than 900 move your rc robot to your right and if the value is less than 100 move it to your left so this is how you basically use a joystick and control your rc and i hope the tutorial was clear and the understanding is clear so thanks for watching my video stay subscribed and please leave your valuable feedback as a comment or if you have any queries you can always approach me thanks a lot for watching again thank you take care